From a big U-turn at Alibaba to a new champion in World Soccer's Money League, this is the week in numbers. About $20 billion was the amount wiped off Alibaba's market value on Friday. The stock plunged after the e-commerce giant said a day earlier that it was cancelling plans to list shares in its cloud computing division. It cited problems caused by US restrictions on chip supplies to China. 7.7% was the slide in shares for Walmart on Thursday. The biggest US retailer actually beats forecasts, but traders focused on its warning that shoppers were acting cautious going into the holiday season. Keith Buchanan at Global Investments says the outlook rattled investors. The CFO mentioned one sentence that really um, scared the market, and it, he mentioned that in the last two weeks of October, um, they saw traffic and demand decline uh, more rapidly. 2.1% was the contraction in Japan's economy over the last quarter. That was way worse than economists had expected and comes amid weak consumption and exports. The number gives the Bank of Japan an even bigger headache over how and when to exit from negative interest rates. 16% was the slide in quarterly revenue at Lenovo. The world's biggest PC maker is suffering after the end of lockdown-driven demand for tech gear. Its sales have now fallen for five straight quarters. And almost $1.9 billion is the brand value of English soccer club Manchester City. That's according to estimates by researchers and makes it the most valuable brand in world soccer, overtaking Spain's Real Madrid. Man City takes top spot after a decade of dominance on the pitch.